like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. Years before flying was made possible, people had been fascinating about being able to hover high up in the air like birds do, as seen in several ancient writings and inscriptions. However, the lack of technology and ideas in those times made it difficult for them to figure out a way to achieve this dream. Even Leonardo da Vinci, the popular Italian polymath, was fascinated by the idea of aviation and was known to have designed the flying machine, although it was not a sustainable method of flying. The first ever successful self-propelled heavier-than-air flight was built on the 17th of December in 1903 by the Wright brothers. The Wright flyer stayed up in the air for 12 seconds and covered a distance of 120 feet on its first ever flight near Kitty Hawk of North Carolina. Since then, airplanes have come a long way, with constant technological developments influencing the structure of aircrafts over the years. Today, we will tell you about the 10 largest airplanes to have ever been built. Number 10. Nilmai 26 With a weight of 28,200 kilograms, the Soviet-built Milmai 26 is the largest and heaviest helicopter to have ever gone into mass serial production. It was perfectly designed by Mil Moscow Holocopter Plant and manufactured by JSC Resovot, a Russian helicopter manufacturer company, for ultra-heavy lifting purposes and was able to transport 20 tons of cargo or 90 troops as well as 5 crew members. It was first introduced in 1977 and since then 360 more of these models have been built. Despite being built mainly for military purposes, it has been used in a number of more other diverse missions, such as the airlifting woolly mammoth encased in frozen tundra soil of the Ash Russian Arctic, as well as recovering damaged helicopters from the Afghan mountains. This twin-engined heavy transport helicopter is still used by several air forces today, with their primary users being the Russians, Algeria and Indian air forces. Number 9. The HAV Airlander 10 the HAV Airlander 10, designed and built by British manufacturing company Hybrid Air Vehicles, is a combination of a plane and an airship. Originally, the HAV 304 was built for United States Army Long Endurance Multi-Intelligence Vehicle Program and was first launched in New Jersey in 2012. However, after the cancellation of the project, the HAV required the airship, which was later reassembled and modified in England's Cardington Airfield for civilian uses and was labelled as Airlander 10. The 20,000 kilogram aircraft flew both using aerostatic and aerodynamic lift power by the four diesel-driven engine propellers. The prototype of the Airlander 10 crashed in 2017 when the aircraft came loose from its moorings and was written off as a result of this incident. Instead of restoring the aircraft, its developers are focusing on development of the version of the airship to be put into mass production, which is expected to be able to carry out by both civilian and military roles. Number 8. The Tulov 2-160 Designed by Tulov Design Bureau in the Soviet Union in the 1970s, the Tulov Tu-160 is a supersonic strategic heavy bomber built by Kazan Aircraft Production Association. The 110,000 kg bomber is the largest and heaviest Mark II supersonic military aircraft ever built. Besides this, the Tulov Tu-160 also holds the impressive accolades of being the largest and heaviest combat aircraft and the fastest bomber currently in use. Moreover, this aircraft is also the largest and heaviest swept wing aircraft ever flown, which means that its wings can be swept under and returned to initial straight position during flight. After first entering service in 1987, 36 of these flights were built to late to date, with the latest being more modernized model being released in 2017. It was later a strategic bomber designed for the Soviet Union, but is still being used by the Russian Aerospace Forces Long Range Aviation Branch. Number 7. Lockheed C-5 Galaxy the American aerospace manufacturer named Lockheed Corporation built the C-5 Galaxy in 1968 for the United States Air Force. This massive military transport aircraft weighs 172,371 kilograms, can carry up to seven crew members, as well as 36,463 L Master pallets, weighing a gross total of 127,459 kilograms. It is also capable of airlifting outsizing and oversized loads, such as six Ab Apache gunship 
helicopters or 2 M1 main battle tanks over a distance of approximately 11,000 kilometers. Soon after its introduction, the limitations in the development of the C5 Galaxy, such as cost overruns and faulty wings, led to the development of the much more advanced C5M Super Galaxy. The C5 has been used sever in several important operations, including the Yom Kippur War and the Gulf War. It was also used to provide humanitarian aid, disaster relief, and used to support for the US space program. A total of 131 of these strategic air lifters were built, and many of them are still being used by the United States. States Air Force. Number 6. Antov An-124 Antov the An-124, Russian, is a four-engine strategic airlift designed by Antov Des Design Bureau and is the largest military transport aircraft in the world. The 175,000 kg Soviet aircraft has been the world's heaviest gross weight production cargo airplane for 30 years, until the Boeing 747-8F was introduced and is the second heaviest operating aircraft by only behind the Antov A-225 Marina. The massive aircraft has the carrying capacity of six crew members and 88 passengers in the upper fuchsial ledge, as well as 150 worth tons worth of cargo in the hold. A total of 55 of these models were built, and while many of them are still in use by the Russian Air Force, others are used by cargo operators to transport oversized cargo, such as those by the American and European space program. A small number of these An-124 aircrafts have been destroyed in accidents over the years. Number 5. Boeing 747-8 the Boeing 7478 was developed by the Boeing Commercial Airlines in 2010. This wide-edged jet airliner, used to the longest airliner until the 77XK9 was introduced in 2020, the passenger version of this plane, the 7478i, had the capacity to carry two cockpit members and 410 passengers, while the freighter version, 7478F, could carry 183 tons worth of cargo. The Boeing 7478i passenger version is one of the nine commercial airplanes that have never recorded a passenger fatality. This impressive record has motivated many famous airline companies like Lufthansa, Korean Air and UPS Airlines to use the Boeing 7478 as passengers feel safer when using this flight. The 220,182 kilogram aircraft is widely recognized as a unique forward hump. There have been a total of 144 passenger and cargo flights of this version built until now and this version of the Boeing 747 family is expected to provide service for many more years to come. Number 4. Airbus A380-800 the wide-bodied airliner Airbus A380-800, manufactured by Airbus, is the world's largest airliner by capacity. The full-length double-checked aircraft, often referred to as the Super Jumbo, has a theoretical capacity of carrying up to 853 passengers. However, its operators have opted for a less dense 450 to 550 passenger layout. The aim of developing this massive aircraft was to control the increasing congestion at major hub airports. The flight has been successful for over the years mainly because of its adaptation by large operators such as the widely renowned Emirates, Singapore Airlines and British Airways. However, its production was decided to be stopped in 2021, after its main customer, Emirates, dropped an order of 39 of the aircraft and replaced it with other versions. Another reason was the dwindling demand for four-engine aircraft due to the coronavirus pandemic. Since its production started in 2003, 248 of these 277-ton aircraft have been built until 2021, and the decision to and its production means that no more will be produced. Number 3. Antonov An-225 Maria with an empty weight of 200,085 kilograms, a length of 84 meters, and a wingspan of 88.4 meters, the Antov An-225 Maria is the largest aircraft in terms of all three measurements of weight, length, and wingspan. It's also the only aircraft in the world that is powered by six turbo fan engine. The only existing An-225 was built in 1985, which was designed by the Antov Design Bureau and produced by the Antov Material Production Plant. A second was under the 
the process of construction when the Soviet Union collapsed, and it was left incomplete in the storage facility in Kiev. The outsized cargo freight aircraft is also known for holding the world record for an airlifted single item payload of 189,098 kilograms, and an airlifted total payload of 253,820 kilograms. The aircraft was left abandoned for eight whole years at a boneyard after successfully completing its Soviet missions. It was later restored and refurbished and is now in service with the Antov Airlines, carrying out commercial operations such as transporting oversized payloads. Number 2. Huge H-4 Hercules You would probably recognize this fascinating aircraft from its depiction in Leonardo DiCaprio's famous movie The Aviator. Designed and built by the Huge Aircrafts Company, this massive flying boat was built by a transatlantic flight to carry heavy cargo during World War II. Due to its restrictions on use of aluminium and concerns about weight, the strategic airlifter was made using wood and fitted with eight engines. The Spruce Goose, as it was often called, made its first and only flight in 1947. The flight lasted for 26 seconds and covered a distance of one and a half kilometers. This brief flight was enough for the strategic airlifter with a wingspan of 97.54 meters to be considered the largest wingspan aircraft to have ever flown in until the scaled composite star level launched in 2019. The project never progressed progressed beyond the only example produced in 1947. This 113,393,99 kg prototype was still in good condition and is now on display at the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum in McMillieville, Oregon in the United States. Number 1. Strato Launch the scaled composite model 351 Strato Launch, also known as the ROC, is an enormous mothership aircraft. Manufactured by the scaled composite for Strato Launch Systems, it was built to act as a flying launch platform to put payloads into orbit. The most fascinating fact about this aircraft is its distinct appearance. The Strato Launch consists of two fuselages, even though only the right one is used to accommodate the three crew members, while the left one contains flight data systems. The mothership can carry 250-ton payload and has a maximum take of weight of 590 tons. The empty vehicle alone weighs a staggering 227 tons. The stratosphere also holds the record for the longest wingspan ever flown at 117 meters, which is even longer than an American football field. The strato launch has only been on the air for two hours over a total of two flights since its first flight in 2019. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of the two videos on your screen. See you there.